What's up guys, Gemma here and back again for another video and this deserves a video in its own right because I found an absolute corker but I have a few questions for you as there's a couple of things that I'm not quite sure about. Um, I'm going to show you a Super Nintendo game box that I found kind of like, I'm going to tell you the story of how I found it actually in CX. Um, so not the best place to buy retro games but sometimes you can get a bargain. So I do need your help a little bit because I can't find the answers I want online now before we go any further guys uh, just found a couple of games on doubles um, I've got Mega Games 3 and Alien 3 if you guys want these I'm gonna do them for like 11 quid um, for the pair posted first class uh, so let me know if you I just like drop them let me know if you want them go and hit me up on my Facebook group DM me or send me a message on Twitter um, if you want them and I will post them out to you I just want to get rid of doubles so back to the video I'm gonna show you this guys I'm so excited it's immaculate guys this is what I found. Found an immaculate copy of Super Street Fighter 2 PAL. Now, first things first, okay? First things first. I have never seen a PAL copy of this game, like Super Street Fighter 2, but like never seen a copy. I'm gonna show you how immaculate the car is. Missing manual, so if you've got a copy of the manual, let me know as well over on the Facebook group or whatever social media you guys want to hit me up on. Um, give me a shout if you've got it, I'll pay for it, I'll pay for shipping. I'd really, really like to get the manual for this. Um, so, the questions I want to ask then. So, first of all, okay, is this rare? Um, it's kind of weird because I'm like doing a little bit of research online, don't find much on Google, but a lot of the eBay listings um, say that this is rare. Um, now it caught my eye because, you know, it, the box art, first of all, is some of the most prominent box art from the retro gaming eras, um, the scene of 16-bit era in particular, and really, really nice. And of course it differs from Street Fighter 2 in that there's some additional characters. So it's not the turbo version, it's kind of in between Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 2 Turbo, you've got Super Street Fighter 2 in the middle with additional characters. Now, I'll show you the car. I'll show you additional stuff on B-roll as well. So inserts are like really, really nice. I mean, is it, when I say inserts, I mean like the tray. Guys, seriously, this cart is absolutely, even, even, even the white tray that it's in, even this thing is immaculate. It is absolutely beautiful. There is no yellowing on it whatsoever. Uh, top, bottom and side, really, really nice. Um, so, I had a look on eBay, I thought I'm going to see what's cracking off here in eBay. Um, so not only did a lot of the uh, listings say that it was rare, which I'm kind of not sure about, this is where I want you guys to come in, but they sold, right? If I could find a PAL copy on eBay, and I'll show you three screenshots that I found of sold copies, this thing goes for a mint. Right, an absolute mint. So you'll see them here. Um, I paid 32 quid for that. So 32 quid is immensely cheap, considering how much this game has actually sold for on eBay. Now, what I'm also finding on eBay are a lot of NTSC versions. I've seen one Red Classics version that sold on bidding for about 38, 39 quid. But this, the gold box, the gold cart, because there's, there's, there's like a black label cart as well, the gold cart um, and gold box goes for a fair bit on eBay. So my question to you guys is, are those eBay listings accurate? Is Super Street Fighter Pal gold cart, gold box rare? Or am I just having a bit of a delusional moment? Um, and let me know actually guys, is 30, I personally feel 32 quid for this is an absolute steal. Absolute bargain. Um, and it was kind of an odd one because I'm out on my lunch break, okay? Always like to nip in CEX, see what's going on. Loads more PS2 stuff in. Loads more original Xbox, like loads more games in, right? So I'm like, yeah, this is cool. So I trundle over to the, uh, the retro game stuff, which tends to be behind the glass. You know, your cartridge-based stuff, your consoles, etc., etc. Um, I'm having a look around. I did post it out on Twitter if you guys want to go check out what's on there. So I'm looking, yeah, yeah, not too bad, you know, Link to the Past, Mario Kart. You know, some decent stuff. Better than what it has been of late. 20 minutes later, you know, I've looked at the uh, looked at the anime. I've had another look at the DS games, PS2 games. I'm kind of walking out. I'll grab a coffee. Walking out, round past the front window. And literally, like a bit of like an Uma Thurman kind of moment in Kill Bill. Like, you know, darting looks. This puppy was here. It was right there in the middle 
of like SNES minis and you know I think there was like a couple of Mega Drive games that it was wrapped in like a cling film with the price on presumably to not damage the box with the price sticker now 32 quid there was no way on God's green earth was I gonna leave without that because I've never seen it before so to me my little mind's like <gasps> Is it rare? Like, uh, what, what? I mean, Street Fighter 2 itself is not rare, right? There's loads of carts about, you know, there's loads of Street Fighter 2 turbos about, you know, in the purple box. Never seen that. So let me know, guys, is it rare? What kind of value do you think that it should have been? Do you think 32 quid's fair? Do you think those eBay listings that I showed you were also fair? Went for a hell of a lot more money than what that thing did. Now Street Fighter 2 has been around for bloody years. It's probably older as a series than some of you good people out there. And of late, you know, the Nintendo Switch released, um, you know, Street Fighter, Ultra Street Fighter uh, 2. Um, fantastic times. It kind of seems like one of those games, uh, one of those franchises that is completely endless. You know, no matter how much you go back to it, you're always getting a ton of fun. Awesome arcade experiences. Awesome couch co-op elements to it as well. And I think for me, um, it's going to be one of those games that I, I just never get tired of. Um, and let me know, you know, do you like Street Fighter 2? Do you hate Street Fighter 2? And who do you normally pick in terms of your characters? I typically I typically would go with like Chun-Li, uh, Ryu and Ken. Um, find um, Sagat is also kind of like in the later Street Fighters. So anything from like Street Fighter 4 and upwards, Sagat is just so gnarly. And I would just play the whole game um, online and just in kind of like standard kind of mode, arcade mode with Sagat, like he's so awesome. Can't play, like I hate playing with Sagat uh, for anything down from four, but generally speaking for me, it's Chun-Li if it's on the 16-bit stuff, Ken um, and Ryu. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate the love and support you guys have been showing on my channel. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you want to get pick yourself up a couple of um, couple of games here, like I said in the intro, let me know um, in the comment section below or drop me a message on Facebook. But for now, guys, I will be back on Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. My name is Gemma. Take care. See you soon.